Hello guys, Soft Tony here and welcome back to my channel and in today's tutorial we will be creating a fast scale text animation here in After Effects. And also hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and without any further delay let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and as always I have already created final composition and here is the media 01, this is my drone footage, okay, you can of course import your own and also here is the awesome text. Now let's open up this little triangle and go here on animate and for the first animator let's find here scale. Now let's change scale from 100 to 200 like so and now go here on add, find here property and let's also find here tracking. For the tracking amount let's also type 200, ok, and now go here at 0 seconds, open up this rain selector 1, and for the end parameter let's type 15, ok, now let's animate offset, type here minus 30, like so, set for the first keyframe here at 0 seconds, and now go here to around 2 seconds and type 100. And now when we hit 0 we already have this cool looking awesome animation. Now select both of the keyframes, hit F9 or go right click keyframe assistance and find here easy is. And now let's go to graph editor and draw a curve like this one. Alright, you can leave it this way or you can draw a curve like this one. Okay, this is looking even better when you hit 0. Alright, and for the final step let's add second animator, go here on animate and find here opacity. And for the opacity let's go to around 20 frames or so. Set up the first keyframe, type here 0, and go to around 1 second, and let's type here 100. And now, as you can see, our text will appear here at 20 frames. Hit 0 once again, and our awesome text is looking nice. In every moment later on, you can play around here with the end parameter, maybe to go to around 30%, it's up to you. If you like this kind of look, hit 0 once again, and also this is looking awesome and I'll go back to around 15%. You can also play around here with the offset parameter and so many more. Alright guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And also take a look at my channel for even more great tutorials. And you can also leave me a comment down below in the comment section and suggestion what to do next. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.